everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, my name is Kat. Today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the 1000 piece bits and pieces country quilts puzzle. This is our last regular puzzle before we start Christmas puzzles. I'm so excited for you guys to see this one. So without further ado, let's get on with the time lapse. So what did we think about this puzzle? I really enjoyed it. Something to note about bits and pieces puzzles is I don't necessarily think that they're hard. I just think that they're brain teasing. So you have to think about them a lot. So if you don't like to have to really kind of use your brain when you're doing puzzles, I definitely don't think you need to do bits and pieces. I actually like doing this, which is really funny because I'm not a huge challenging puzzle type of person. But to me, like I said, the puzzle wasn't necessarily challenging, which is always good. And you want to do kind of an easier puzzle after you just get done doing a super huge challenging puzzle. The pieces fit in pretty nicely, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. We really liked the image. It was super cute. And bits and pieces, honestly, I really liked the brand. So I was excited that we were able to do this one. The image reminds me of a nice crisp fall day. I really like how it has the different color changing leaves and it really reminds me of the olden days with the quilts and putting them outside. So this puzzle was just kind of a reverse in time puzzle for me. So here is a piece of the puzzle. As you can see, the pieces do stick very nicely together. I was rather shocked at how well they do stick together. So you are able to pick up big sections of the puzzle and move them, which is extremely nice. The pieces also click in very nicely, so you kind of get a satisfying feeling when you click in a big section. Something to know about bits and pieces puzzles though is they do have fake border pieces, so that does make it kind of challenging when you're trying to pick out the borders. The one on the left is a fake border piece and then the one on the right is a real border piece so you can see they look similar. So here are the pieces. They are a medium thickness. They're not super thick and they are on the regular puzzle cardboard. The pieces are rather glossy so keep that in mind if you're doing puzzles at night. Also bits and pieces it does have irregular piece shapes. I should have picked one out to show you guys, but they are quite challenging. I think that's why it makes the puzzle such a brain teasing puzzle. So just keep that in mind. If you don't like random piece shapes, definitely don't do it bits and pieces. There was an exorbitant amount of puzzle dust. This was after I took apart the puzzle. So that is something to keep in mind. 
So the big question, will we be keeping and doing this puzzle again? The answer is no. We are really on the fence about this one because we really did enjoy it. But we just thought that the image was kind of bland and wasn't one that we particularly wanted to return to. We think that there is quite a few Christmas puzzles that we are going to want to keep. So we have to kind of be selective on the puzzles that we do keep. So this one is up already on our Mercari, which is Ings1234. And I'll have that also linked down in the description. So if you guys want to go and purchase this puzzle before Thanksgiving, make sure that you go head over there and do that. So on my puzzle hardness scale, what would I give it? I would give it a 5 out of 10, only because it was kind of brain teasing. But honestly, I would definitely do bits and pieces again. It's not one that I'm like, oh my gosh, the pieces are so hard. I don't want to do it again. No, I definitely will. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my future puzzle content. Also, make sure that you head over to my Instagram, which is Puzzling It Through Life, and go and give that a follow. I've been posting quite frequently up there on the story, etc. So you're going to make sure that you want to head over there and follow to see some more puzzle content. Like I said, our puzzle Christmas videos are just around the corner. I'm so excited. I have got 12 days of puzzles all sorted out. And I've decided what puzzles we are going to be doing what day. I'm so excited for you guys to see these puzzles. We have some awesome ones that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next week video. Bye!